In today's video, we're opening an entire case of 2023 Mega Tins. What's up guys, we're back with another epic tin opening. We have 12 tins to be opened in this video. Yes, it's gonna be an exciting video. These were sent to me by Sassy Auto to be given away to one of you guys. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite promo or favorite card from these tins, and let's get into the opening. You'll win every foil card, so I'm not gonna be sending out all the bulk because there is a lot of stuff in here, so we're gonna send all the foil cards out, and then one of the tins as well, so you can have you know one to look at, but I'm not gonna ship out all 12 because it would get crazy, just FYI. All right, we're gonna do these one at a time because the promos are at the very top, and I don't wanna open it up and spoil the fun for the promos because that's half the fun of these. So I'm gonna do one at a time. We're gonna have to pull as many of the promos as possible. There are 36 total packs in this video because there's 12 tens, three packs each, so 12 total promos. Let's see what our first one is. 16 different promos in here, all 25th anniversary stuff. Here we go. Okay, the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Is that what this thing's called? Kind of a weird one. I guess it's an iconic card for whatever anime this is. I haven't seen this one, Zexel. It's not Zexel, I don't think. It's probably Arc V. I think it's when they did P Pendulum Monsters. So first 25th anniversary, probably not the most exciting one we'll get. At least I hope not. Uh, let's go on to the packs. All right, first pack of the video. Might be a, not a crazy long video, but it will be somewhat longer due to there is a lot of packs. So we're gonna go through a little bit quickly on the commons. We have Dogmatica, we have Therion Bull. Very nice super. We have the Blackwing Chinook, the Snow Blast. We have the Dragonic Pendulum. Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle, a nice Labyrinth card. And the Zombie Vampire. That's We pulled this yesterday in the first pack, so that's kind of interesting. Very nice. All right, next pack. We're not gonna go too, you know, too slow on these. I really like the pack artwork though, with the, the Yu-Gi-Oh card back. It's pretty cool. Ice Shade Creation. We have the Mary Melfies. Brandon. Therion Duke Yule. We have the Agent of Destruction venus runic freezing curses hard to see some of these primitive planet reich phobia okay wait isn't this a good card mess uh, i don't know i don't remember and blackwing shamal the sandstorm so this one used to be a super i think so a little bit of a bump there i don't know if these blackwing cards are very good though i'm guessing they're not super meta you know they might be decent in the blackwing deck but i'm guessing they're not too crazy overall third pack let's see what we can get we have 36 packs to open today this is the first 10 we have dynamorphia frenzy we have the Amazon is Spiritualist, the uh, Samson Samsara Sorrow Cat, Scareclaw Lightheart Secrets, and the Tamias. Ooh, man, people are really not liking these tins, and I don't know, stuff like the Tamias is really gonna help. Dark Magician kind of support there. Very nice, that's pretty big. All right, next up, here we go. I don't know the highest value card in the set. I know there isn't like a huge chase card, which is, if there was, these tins would probably be huge bangers. Uh, this is not one to, that was kind of tough to open. We'd probably do a lot better if they had a big pot of prosperity or something, but there's been so many reprints of everything recently. It's like, there's not that many cards that are gonna be higher, you know, high value anymore at this point because we reprinted it all. We have, oh, a Cyber Dragon. Very, there we go. Starlight Rare, AKA 25th anniversary, not Starlight. I just want to call it a Starlight because it looks very much like one. Cyber Dragon. I just think it's actually harder to read the text though on these gold letter ones though. They sort of blend in with the starlight. Kind of like those gold series when they used to have the crazy shiny gold series ones, you couldn't read them. That's what I kind of feel like. It's not as bad as those though. Those are really hard to read. Next 10, make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Check out my link down below with Sassy Auto. He is the one who sent us this uh, to be opened up. He's the one giving it away. So go check out Sassy Auto on eBay. I have a link down below. We have discounts for single tins or we have a single tin link. That doesn't have a discount because it's already super low. And then we have a discount for cases. So check that out. If you guys use that link, it supports not only Sassy Auto, but it supports my channel as well. So I appreciate you guys doing that. It's an affiliate link. Uh, Rika Princess, we have Ultimate Fusion. Skeletal Dragon Felgrant, haven't seen that card in a while. And then Cash Tira Fenrir. How is this not a big card? I guess Fenrir fell off a little bit, not quite as valuable, but Fenrir is a pretty huge one, to be honest. That's a really nice card. Okay, interesting. I'm get. Hmm. I'm guessing it's not a huge money card, but that's probably one of the best cards you can pull. But yeah, I wanted to remind you guys, Sassiato, send us this, so shout out to him. Make sure to let him know in the comments that he's a legend, Groza, Amazonist, Muckraker from the Underworld, and the lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. I just feel like there's so many good cards in these tins. I mean, I guess they might not be super valued, but they are really good cards. A lot of more archetype-specific stuff. Not as much generic stuff, though. I guess Finrear is probably one of the more generic cards we've seen so far. The rest are more archetype-based. Uh, your Sardic Radiation, we got Mary Melfi's, the uh, Exosister Carpidium. We have Scatter Fusion, Blackwing Zonda, 
Bestial Serenir, that's another Bestial reprint. And the Muckraker again. We got a couple of those in that 10. Pretty decent 10 right there. All right, round three. And if you guys like uh, these 10 openings, we are planning on a live stream this Saturday, assuming all our stuff gets here on time and stuff, which it, you know, you never know with the, the shipping services, they can get crazy, but we should be doing a stream opening 100 tins. If they don't arrive, we'll do it on another day when they do arrive, but should be on Saturday. That's the plan. So hopefully I will see you guys there. Here we go. Stardust. Oh my gosh, a double of this guy. Odd Eyes Pendulum. That's a feels bad, man. That is a feels bad. Quality on these looks pretty good though on the back. It looks super nice. Uh, I have the Centering, I have no, the Cyber Dragon wasn't great. So Centering can be a little bit off. We only threw a couple of tins so far. This is going to be a longer video if I don't speed it up. I'm sorry, I got to speed it up a little bit. We have the Morphtronic Converter, super. We have the Therion Charge, Dictator of D. Majesty Pegasus, that's not a great one. And then the Ariana, there we go. Not Ariana, Ariana. We pulled Ariana yesterday in the first opening we did. Ariana, that's the better version. Next pack, very nice. I mean, we're just pulling a lot of great cards. I think they just needed a few more generic cards like staples, but they've reprinted them all so much, as I've been saying. Reverse Jar, get an upgrade from common to rare. That's nice, we got a super. Dark the Dark Charmer got a, a technically an upgrade. It had a high rarity and a low rarity, so it's more than the super, I guess. Libra Mancer Fire got a downgrade from Secret. We got Flow Enderies in the Advent Adventure and Bistrial Magna Hunt. Magna Hunt, very good one as well. So just a lot of solid cards. The Bistials, guess not generic, really. They're an archetype, but they are used, you know, a lot of stuff, right? I guess you don't really want to use those, right? A file overhead. We have the uh, Alba Linitus. This was a secret in a starlight before, I think. Ultimate Fusion Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon and the Blazing Cartesia. That feels like a good 10. I mean, these just feel like good cards based on the original values of the secret rare versions. All right, 10 number four. That is upside down. Can we get a good pro? I mean, Cyber Dragon's good, but we're one out of three so far on actual like good promos and most of them are good. Uh, hello. Also, I, I gotta say, originally, I did not like the look of these. I thought they were kind of ugly, uh, like on pictures and stuff. But when I've seen them in person, they look a lot better. I, it's kind of interesting how that works. English edition, first edition. Interesting that that says that there. Have there has there ever been an unlimited run of tins? I'm sure, I, don't, I don't think so. They usually don't even aren't even first edition. They're just tins. Okay, Utopia. Here's one that's kind of cool i mean we had the astral and they're reprinting the astral so utopia utopia they have printed so many versions of recently it's been insane there's been the ulti the the you know whatever you called that other one the the astral version then now there's the 25th version there's going to be a reprint of the astral version there was like a i feel like there was a yeah there's a collector rare as well okay yeah at this pace we are going to be here quite a while so hopefully you guys have sit back sat back i should say Gla grab your popcorn you know, enjoy the video, Diplos. We got the Blackwing, Abor Storm, the Wicked Wind, Scareclaw, Blue Eyes, Tyrant Dragon, beautiful. That secret really looks awesome on that. And Blazing Artesia. So it looks like the secrets might line up in similar ways. That seems to happen with the Mega 10 packs a lot of the time, where uh, you get two of the same secrets. They can be like in the same order and stuff based on how they're printed. We have Sunlit. We have Therion, Stand Up, Ice Jade, Cosmic Lore, Runic Lore. The Destructive Duruma Cannon Secret and the Primitive Planet. That's another good one. Very solid. The Duruma Cannon is also pretty good. It was a pretty expensive ultra on the original print. Last pack of the fourth 10. We've got 12 tens to open today. All these foils are going to one of you guys, so make sure to enter the giveaway. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. Make sure to check out Sassy Auto down below. He has stuff for sale. Dynamorphia Stealth Bird. Yeah, that's an upgrade. That was like a common before, I think. Uh, S-Force. Psychic and Punisher. That's a pretty nice card. Nice synchro. And Lubellion's in here. Dude, this, this set, there's just good cards in these tins. I don't understand. The values just aren't holding up right now, but this feels like a solid open, like if you're looking for a lot of these cards. All right, tin number five from the legend, Sassy Auto, the king. Thanks again, Sassy Auto, for sponsoring the video. Make sure to check out my affiliate links. I want to remind you guys again, Neos, that's a good one. Elemental Hero Neos, beautiful beautiful neos that's sick that's a nice card didn't have this version before didn't even have a starlight so i'm okay totally okay with this card even though i still feel like these probably shouldn't be promos <laughs> promo rarities but they are and you know what i'm gonna be happy with it you know three packs to go in this tin what can we get brilliant rose we got cross keeper we've got the silent wolf kalupo albalinitis we got ultimate fusion 
Flow Under Reason Advent Adventure, and the Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. What is that from? I don't remember that card originally. That might have been like a structure deck card or something. That's a pretty sick looking one. That's pretty dope. I like that. Probably not a valuable card. They're probably, probably one of the ones people are complaining about. Like, why is this a secret rare? Okay, but it seems like the good cards are secrets though this year, which a lot of times are ultras, which I don't really like. I'd rather them be secrets. It might be a little harder to pull, but they're just to look a lot better, you know. Fenrir, beautiful. And uh, Dynamorphia Power Load the Draco Slayer. Fenrir is a great card. I mean, that is a super solid card right there. Hi, but you know, Dabble. I should open my Dabble packs already. They're getting smashed right now. Thunder Discharge. We've got Sales Ban. That's, that used to be a secret on the original print. Dark the Dark Charmer. Water and Griffin Rider upgrade. We got Water Enchantress. Got another print in here. That's nice. And Cash Tira Ogre. Not usually used in real, you know, duels and stuff. I used it in some series. I used a cash tier ogre and it was like insane. All right. After this one is the halfway point of the opening. And we have been going already quite a while. So we might be sitting back for a while. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this new opening. I'm having a lot more fun with this one than the legendary duelist. Uh, fire, soul burning volcano. That's what it was called. Oh, Stardust. We got the Stardust. The reprint is here. 25th anniversary starlight rare it's beautiful it is beautiful indeed doesn't quite live up to the starlight but it is pretty awesome we pulled this one a little faster than the starlight version that's for sure let's go we have bisul abalas we have kalupo the pit knight blackwing blue eyes tyrant dragon and blazing Gart blue eyes tyrant dragon Bla blazing artesia is basically guaranteed that's three times that's happened to come after blue eyes tyrant dragon and before blue eyes tyrant i think is the blue eyes jet dragon we have, is that alphabetical order? I'm thinking about that. Might be alphabetical order. We have Runic, we have Therion King Regulus Secret, and Exo Sister Michaelis. That is not alphabetical order. <laughs> All right, after this one is the halfway point, we'll have six tens to go, and then we will be over after six whole tens. You know, six more tens. This is a lot, a lot of tens being opened right now. By the way, we're going to be opening 100 on Saturday. So, assuming I get them, I'm hoping I don't jinx it and primitive planet so that will be a lot more that'll be over like that's like nine cases or something eight point something 8.33 cases i think is what it is all right seventh promo another cyber dragon okay so we are tending to get a lot of re uh, repeats here that's double of two of them already in 710 so there's 16 different ones so it might take a lot of tens actually to get all the promos you want if you're going to open them We'll see exactly when we open a hundred of these on Saturday, assuming they all get here. Well, I'm just going to preface it over and over. I'm making all of you nervous that they're not going to arrive, aren't I? <laughs> I think I'm making myself I'm paranoid. I'm like giving myself paranoia and it shouldn't really. I don't know. Uh, Labyrinth Stove. We have the Exo Sister Armament, Runic Slumber, Geek Boy, Magic Rebo. Let's go. These are the best tins ever. Who said these weren't lit? Magic Karibo is a secret in here. That is insane. Oh, these are insane. The best tens ever made. I'm in. Until they make Petite Moth in a Prismatic Secret, you can't top these. That is insane. That's a card right there. I'm hyped. We have Mole Cricket. We have Groza. Runic Flash and Fire. Muckraker. Therion King Regulus. And wait. Oh, I'd already gotten two secrets. Whoops, got a little carried away there. All right, last pack for the seventh ten. Let's see what we can do. Thunder Discharge. We have the Enlist. We have the Morphtronic Converter. Spiral. Therion. Starving Venom. Preta Power Fusion Dragon. And the Primitive Planet. I feel like we've pulled the Primitive Planet a lot. A lot of Primitive Planets. It's a good card though, so we'll take it. Eighth ten. This will be the two thirds point after this one. Can we get? So oh, we haven't gotten Black Rose yet. For some reason, it's really hard to get this. Just wants to stick on the tin. Doesn't want to be open. It has a good feeling. There's something good inside. Here we go. Come on, tin. Oh, another Stardust. Another reprint. I'm not reprint. Repeat of a reprint. Three packs here in the eighth tin. Let's go. We have uh, Digit Jamming. We have Soul Scissors. Whoa, I forgot about this card. I think he might have been a common. Wonder Griffin Rider, Dynamorphia, Ignis Phoenix, Draco Slayer, and Sclair Claw Try Heart. It's an okay pack. Nothing too crazy there. Not, you know, going to be pogging about that one. Two packs left in here. We have the Exo Sister Armament, Spellbound. Spellbound was a pretty hyped card in Secret, so that's a nice Ultra Print. Agent of Destruction and Ariana. Okay, good stuff. So it looks like they're not always the same orientation because Ariana's been next to a few different cards now. So it's not like guaranteed that you get the same two secrets if they're in the certain spots or anything. Last pack here for the eighth 10. Laughing Puffin, Runic, Amazon Spiritualist, Flow Under Ease. 
Bestial Magnum Hunt. Okay, that was an okay 10. Nothing too insane. I mean, Bestials are always really solid. We are on to the final third, as they would say in soccer, aka football, aka footy. I don't know, whatever. No, footy is football, right? I don't know, I can't keep it. Yeah, footy is football, I think. Or maybe, I don't know. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. The one where you kick the ball around, not the field goals. Here we go, ninth 10. Firewall, okay, we got this one yesterday. So it is not a, re a repeat of today, so this is different. So far we pulled one, two, three, four, five, six different ones out of nine, 10. So, you know, a third of the time there are repeats, which, you know, you have to have opened something before for it to be a repeat, but on average. All right, three packs left. We have Thunder. We have Opal Head, Therion Charge, Dictator of D again, Blazing Artesia, and Destructive Doruma Cannon. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Looking good. I wonder if there's anything we haven't pulled. I'm guessing there's some we haven't pulled. Usually there's a pretty long list of secrets, which makes it a little bit harder to get what you want. I don't know if anything's short printed, though. Doesn't seem like it. Well, I guess maybe we haven't pulled it yet. Not Then we would know. Oh, wait. Yoshiro of the Aqua got an Ultra Rare. Interesting. Exo Sister Stella and Hugin. We hadn't pulled that since yesterday, so that's the first time in this tin. There's definitely some we haven't pulled, I would say. One more pack here, and then we have th three tins left. That's it. We're kind of flying through these. Morphtronic, Runic, Golden Droplet, I say as we're 20 minutes into the video. Expo Sister Stella, Fenrir, great. And uh, Paolo Draco Slayer, good stuff, very good stuff. Overall, you guys will be seeing the total value on the screen, and uh, I'll do a total value of the tin, of all the tins we've opened, but this is pre-release, keep that in mind tomorrow. When you're seeing this, it's Thursday. On Friday, it's gonna be the real prices. So that's when it'll actually like update. You know, everyone will be able to sell it. I always have to remind people because people get on here like, why are the price is so high? These are wrong, man. You're uh, manipulating your audience. Like people will say stuff like that. And I'm like, I said it in the video, man. Three tens left. Give us an epic promo, come on. Epic, I mean, we've had some good ones so far. I can't complain, but I would like to see the Black Rose. Let's go. Third Stardust, which if you're gonna get three, I guess Stardust is one of them, but remember how we opened 13 cases to pull one Starlight Stardust, and now I just opened one case and pulled three Stardust? <laughs> and we're talking one case of tins, which costs about a sixth of what a normal case costs. So yeah, these are uh, slump, somewhat more obtainable uh, than the original Starlight, obviously. We already knew that, it's a promo, but ironically, it's the one we pull three of. All right, only nine packs left in this opening. So far, it's been a pretty epic opening. We have Psychic Rover. We've got Ice Straight Cruise, we got Zalamander, Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph, Welcome Labyrinth, first time we've seen that, and Therion Lily, same thing with that one. We haven't seen either of those secrets yet. So looks like there are some secrets we have not quite pulled. Two packs left here. We have the Bestial, Noru, Blackwing, Dynamorphia, Runic Tip we haven't seen either, okay. And then Dynamorphia Rex turn. That can be a problem, you know, if you're trying to get a specific card, you know, there's just so many secrets. You end up pulling ones you don't want. Overall, you know, there's not a huge value card, I guess, uh, according to what everybody's saying. I mean, some of these seem like they could be, but maybe they're not generic enough. Uh, there's a Vayu, the Emblem of Wandering, okay. And then Rite of Aramisir. The whole Brave package got a reprint in here. That's pretty insane. That is uh, definitely nice. So, you know, I guess they're not like the craziest, but having that promo is definitely gonna be a game changer, I think, versus the last three years worth of tens. 2021 really fell off hard because there wasn't a huge pull after some reprints and stuff. They didn't have these promos to come back to. In a couple years, these could maybe actually make these a little bit better because the promos are so nice. Um, so that's the the plus side of this. Here's another repeat. Wow, we are really not getting a huge diversity of the 16 promos. So that's, an, I mean, having 16 is a high number. So that will make them fairly hard to pull a specific one, which is always a little bit nice. Have, you know, add some value there. Utopia, you don't want it to be too easy to pull. Like some people think you do. You know, oh, I want it to be easy to pull. No, you don't, you don't, you don't. Your card's gonna be worth 20 cents. All right, three packs left. Wow, look at those repeats. Two, two, one, three, two, one. There's only six different ones somehow. We're on 10, 11, that's kind of insane. All right, uh, let's keep going. We have one more promo to open. We have the Camelot, we have a Legal Knight, okay. Uh, Lady Labyrinth of Silver Castle and the Zombie Vampire. Man, almost all the Labyrinth stuff is in here. Wow, very, if you're looking for any of the decks from the last couple of years, here's the place to do it. They are much, much more attainable now. Amazon is Augusta, Scatter Fusion, Welcome Labyrinth. Therion and a Scareclaw alternative. That's just a common. I got confused about what part we were on. Final pack for number 11. Then we have a final tin to open. Thanks again, Sassiato, for sending us these. Let him know in the comments. Don't forget, go check out his links down below if you're interested in a case yourself or just a regular tin. They will be available. We have a Sophia and Therion Discoliseum. I don't think I'd seen Sophia or Discoliseum yet. So 
a couple of new ones there. And our final 10 of the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed the long video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll be opening a few older tins tomorrow. So we're going to be opening a new tin as well as, you know, we're going to go back in time a little bit. So if you want to see some older tins tomorrow, make sure to hang around, turn on the notification bell. Saturday, there's a rainbow dragon. We got a different one. Very nice. Saturday, hopefully we will be opening 100 tins. So I think we can get all the promos out of 100, surely, right? Surely we can. Rainbow Dragon, that's a pretty nice card. Rainbow Dragon hasn't had a reprint in a bit, I think. That's pretty nice. It might've been in Crystal Revenge, actually. I say, I should, probably shouldn't say that. I bet it was in Crystal Revenge. Probably it's just an ultra though, so nothing too crazy. All right, last three packs. Let's see what we can get out of these mega packs. So far, it's been a pretty good opening. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, guys. You guys can win all of the foils pulled in this video. Courtesy of Sassy Auto, there's an Ellis and a Berea again. And you also get one of the 10s as well. Mega Pack 2023, very cool looking. Seems like a solid 10 to me. I mean, maybe not like gonna knock your socks off in terms of the pulls in the actual Mega Packs, but they're, they're some pretty nice stuff. Like, I mean, that's just a great card. And that's just a great card for their specific. I mean, Brave Engine can be thrown into a lot of things. Obviously, Labyrinth can't. That has to be a specific deck. I know a lot of people hate it, so uh, maybe you're not too excited about that one. Last pack magic, guys. Here we go. Let's get another Lubellion. That'd be cool. Let's end it, end it off with something crazy. We did. Cucumber Horse. We officially win. And also, Magic Rebo's a secret in here. This, these are cracked. They're insane. Cucumber Horse should be a secret, to be honest. We have the Fire Opal Head. That's a super. We have the Dynamorphia Domain. I don't think we've seen that yet. Spellbound, another crazy card. Regulus, not bad. And... Starving Venom. Okay, we didn't end on anything too crazy there. We did get the Cucumber Horse, though. Not too bad. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Check out Sassiato's links down below, and we will have more Mega 10 content coming up tomorrow and Saturday. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, American Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moose Jr., Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.